Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And today we are making lace toppers. I have a black and white journal that I'm working on. I will show you that at some other time. That's still in progress. It's still kind of, I don't know where it's going. So we're going to see. Um, I have a piece of scrap black fabric, however, that from the interior of the journal. And what I want to do is, I think I want to do a little bit more. I cut these. You know what? We're going to cut that off. I'm going to make this more of a pocket. So I'm going to cut off some of the... I did these tags, uh, stack and wax. These are stack and wax. And so if you want to see how to do the tags... They're easily enough found. I will put a link down below. That's three inches wide. So I want a section here that is three inches wide. Let's go this way. One, two, three. I have my fabric scissors out. And I'm just going to cut myself a piece. And we'll use that for something else later. So I want it three inches wide, and I want it to come down about that far, which is how much, now that I've said that? About an inch. So I've got a piece here that is roughly three by two, which makes this about the same, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to keep it folded in half. Pull off my ends there and I'm going to I'm going to do this the same way she did hers at least to start with just so I can see how I'm this goes and she just cut a half circle so I have a half circle that's going to be not worth keeping you can't keep everything much as I would like to Okay, this is going to be a shallower circle because it's not quite as deep as the other one, but that's okay. We're kind of mass making today, and you could certainly draw out a half circle if you want it to be more even. And that's going to go over the top like that when we get to that point. Okay, I want to cut off the top of this one too. Definitely cut off the top. All right. So now we have two of these toppers. Now we need to put some lace on it. I have some white lace here. And we're going to make, I probably could um, do this with an iron, but I'm just going to do it finger creased at this point. I have a piece of lace here that I think I'm going to see if I can't take apart. There it goes. Sometimes if you can find the right thread, you can just pull these apart very easily. I'm not usually very good at that. You know the, the tops on the potato packages that have the same kind of zippy you're supposed to just zip them right off. I never find the right one. I always goof it up. There we go. So, yeah, not, not so easy for me. Okay, I want just this little piece there. And see how that pulled right out? That's supposed to happen all the time. There we go. And I don't want all of that there. I think I would just want, now do I want it there and there? Oh, I kind of like that. In any case, I don't want all of that. How much do I want? I want, I think, this much. We'll set that aside. So we'll put that there. We're going to put this one here. Let me use a little bit of Fabri-Tac to put them down. Now, could I sew them? Absolutely. I could take these down to my sewing machine and sew them on. Um, in fact, maybe I'll sew that one and I will... Actually, I think I want to sew this one because that one is going to be a little bit more difficult to use. 
So we'll do one sewn and we'll do one glued. How's that? And we'll see how it goes. This is an experiment today. Okay, we'll put that on there. And then for a decoration over the top of them, I have buttons. I have so many black and white buttons. Actually, those are kind of a grayish, so I think we'll set those aside. But I have a whole bunch of black and white buttons. So let's see what we have in here. I think I want to find a couple of little buttons. A great big monster button. I don't want the big monster button. That's, that might be a good for our closure. I have all of these little, I have so many little shirt buttons. These are almost all shirt buttons. So let's see what we have here. Let's take a little shirt button there and maybe a bigger shirt button. And then do I want to put, oh, that's a, that's like a satin button. Hang on, what's this one? I see the one I want. There's one trying to run away. Oh, okay. Now we're going to use a little bit of Fabri-Tac. This is a curved button. So I'm going to put a little bit of Fabri-Tac on the back and just smoosh it around with my finger and stick it there. I'm going to do the same thing here. And put a little bit of Fabri-Tac on it and then smoosh it around with my finger and stick it. I haven't tried this with buttons, with gluing buttons down. So again, experiment. I'm not really caring about the fact that there are two holes versus four holes. And I'm not going to worry if I don't get them exactly lined up. Okay, now let's go ahead and, now what she was doing, she was just making toppers. She just kept making topper after topper after topper. Um, I have this one, and I have this one. I think I like it better on that one. So now we're just going to go down along here. And do this. I'll put a little bit extra in the middle there. And then put our card there and flop it over. A little bit of that glue came through, so it'll dry quickly though. All right, we're gonna leave that aside, let that dry. I'm gonna go ahead and sew this piece on here and I will be right back. And I am back. I decided to sew on that little piece that I cut off before. I kind of didn't get it very straight, but you know, this is why I'm really not a seamstress anymore. I kind of like how that, do I want it to come down a little bit more? I think I do. I think I'm gonna put it down a little bit. down and cheat that a little bit. There we go. And then we'll put our buttons on. I've got these pretty little, I don't know, now that I put that extra thing on there, I don't, I, I don't want to lose them. So let's take a look at our black buttons. I'm going to dump them all out here so that I can see them all and see what we have. Because we have some really pretty buttons here. Uh, where did these buttons come from? Oh, years, years and years. Some were my grandmother's, some were my mom's, some were mine. Every time you buy something and it has extra buttons on it, I set them aside and do something with them. These bigger buttons again. Oh, there's a blue button. What are you doing in there? Blue button doesn't belong in there. We'll take that out. That's another blue button. Yeah, those are two blue buttons. Apparently when I did this, I couldn't see very well. I like the pretty flower on that one. We'll find a spot for that one later. Oh, that looks very... Oh, I definitely want to... That's got a shank on it, though. I don't want the shank. But I would definitely find a spot for that later. Unless I do something like that. 
I like that a lot. Okay, we're going to be making another tag, I think, with the other flower. I really like that flower, but I, it's a set, and I don't know that I want to break up the set. There we go. We'll just do this. And this, again, I am gluing on rather than sewing on. Um, I'm debating, do I want to sew my topper on or do I want to glue my topper on? Oh, I'm here. You know what? We're going to glue it on. We're going to go ahead and glue it on. See, you can see I don't sew straight. I did costumes for many, many years, and I loved doing costumes because in theater, um, if you can't see it from the stage, from, from, you know, if you're on stage, you can't see a lot of stuff from the, from the audience. So a lot of the mistakes that I made, you never saw. And that was just fine with me. But when you're doing close-up work like this, it matters a little bit more, and I'm just not good with it. I am just not good at sewing a straight seam. Okay, I'll put a little bit of glue right over the top of here. Smoosh it all in with my finger. Let's see, how did you guys stay? Did you stay all right? Yeah, you're staying just fine. So that technique works. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on here. Kind of a lot of glue, so let me wipe some of that off. I've got a string, a lot of strings. There. So two toppers made with a little bit of black fabric in this case, but you can do it. She was using muslin. Uh, you can use really anything. I have a little bit of you know, fabric here that would make a nice topper if I were doing a different color, but I'm doing at the moment black and white for a black and white journal. All right, if you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click like to let YouTube know that you like them. In the meantime, this is Cindy signing off.